tell me, if you would, about the SA-400. Okay, the SA-400 is an optionally piloted uh, helicopter platform. Um, we market for both civilian and military use. The reason we chose optionally piloted was predominantly to allow us to operate in the national airspace as a normal aircraft, but also for missions where the pilot could use some automation like search and rescue, law enforcement, aerial agriculture, where precision flying needs to be done at a level that is hard to achieve. Right now our first customer for this is the Naval Research Laboratory. They bought the first two aircraft. Navy is a big use because they need to be able to take off and land on a boat and we do have an autonomous uh, ship-based landing software package for the aircraft. We started with a donor aircraft and modified it highly and then we're in the process of evolving it into a completely independent aircraft. The composite structures are all built in Fort Collins, Colorado and the airframe is designed for ship-based autonomous takeoff and landing and ground-based takeoff and landing. We sell this aircraft in an unmanned configuration for 1.2 million. In a manned configuration it's 1.4 and we try to stay payload agnostic and open-minded for whatever customers want to mount to the aircraft and, and do with it. What kind of payload does it have? It depends on endurance required. We carry four hours of fuel assuming a hundred pound payload but of course if we have a shorter mission we can carry more payload and less fuel. Where do you see the future of this platform? I think the real future could be law enforcement, agriculture, border patrol, ship-based security and things like fishing industry, launching sonar buoys, doing search and rescue missions. You know, we can pick up a soldier in the field without a pilot at risk, so we can go in and extract. And also resupply missions. We can do aerial sling loading with the aircraft, so external load, or we can put cargo in the aircraft to drop off autonomously to a soldier or a civilian operator. Where did this whole project come from? Obviously, the, an idea has to start somewhere. What was the inspiration? What's your development cycle been like? And how long have you been at this? We started the company three years ago. My former company built composite aircraft for a number of manufacturers. And we got together with some partners that brought the automated flight technology to the table and created Cyan UAS to create the full package. And we started with the smaller vehicle, the SA-200. Mm -hmm. We responded to the Naval Research Lab solicitation for a heavier payload platform, and this was our proposal for that. And we have uh, a larger aircraft in mind in the future as well. Will the larger platform be a unique airframe, or are you going to adapt something? It'll be a unique airframe, although we will borrow some components that are proven components out of industry. We probably will borrow some rotor blades from existing proven systems and potentially transmissions and other components. But it'll be mostly a new aircraft. Jim, thanks for the update. Appreciate it. All right, thank you. Aero TV is brought to you by Redbird Flight Simulations is dedicated to revolutionizing flight training by designing, manufacturing, and delivering affordable and innovative flight training technologies. Each Redbird device is designed to enhance the training experience for pilots of all levels, from student to ATP. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration.